Imagine texting with your thoughts, seeing with our eyes, or downloading knowledge straight into your brain. Sounds like sci-fi? Not anymore. Welcome to Neuralink's mind-blowing future. I'm Ulysses from FutureNear, and today we're diving into Neuralink's epic journey, from its secret start in 2016, to jaw-dropping human trials in 2025, and a wild sci-fi future by 2050. This is the tech that's rewriting what it means to be human. Stick around because in just a few minutes, you'll hear how a paralyzed man is playing chess using only his brain. No hands, no joystick, no joke. Neuralink, backed by Elon Musk, isn't just another tech company. It's building a bridge between your brain and the digital world. From helping paralyzed people move again to unlocking superhuman abilities, this is the future you need to know about. If you're fascinated by the future and want to be part of the most forward-thinking tech community on YouTube, hit that subscribe button right now. Every subscriber helps us grow and bring you even more cutting-edge stories. Plus, it's free and only takes a second. Let's rewind to the beginning. In 2016, Elon Musk founded Neuralink to tackle brain disorders like paralysis and epilepsy with a bigger dream, keeping humans ahead of AI. By 2017, they were building the Link, a tiny computer chip with thousands of electrodes to read and stimulate your brain. Picture a coin-sized supercomputer tucked inside your skull. Neuralink's early mission was all about restoring function, but beneath that surface was a far more ambitious vision, one that could redefine what humans are capable of. They weren't just solving problems, they were unlocking potential. This meant thinking beyond hospitals Neuralink began imagining a future where their technology could elevate everyday life, boosting memory, enhancing focus, or even treating mental health conditions like depression and PTSD through targeted neural stimulation. We're talking about a future where mental health is managed not just with medication and therapy, but with finely tuned neurotech that speaks directly to the brain. Fast forward to 2020, Neuralink introduced us to a pig named Gertrude with a chip tracking her brain signals in real time. Then came Pager, a monkey playing Pong, with his mind. Let that sink in. This monkey wasn't holding a controller. He was the controller. No wires, no joystick, just thought. These demonstrations were more than just cool. They were proof of concept. It showed the world that brain machine interfaces weren't just theoretical, they worked and they could work in real time. These animal tests proved the tech worked, but the FDA wasn't convinced yet. After years of safety checks and competition from startups like Synchron, Neuralink finally got approval in 2023 to begin human trials. And this is where things really started accelerating. For Neuralink, the FDA's green light was more than just a milestone. It was a signal to the world that brain chips weren't just science fiction anymore. They were now entering the real world with real patients. Here's where it gets wild. In 2024, Neuralink went from lab animals to human beings. Meet Noland Arbal, a quadriplegic who received the first Neuralink implant after a diving accident left him paralyzed. With Neuralink's telepathy chip, Noland played chess and moved the computer cursor only using his thoughts. No hands, no mouse, just his brain. This moment marked a historic shift from experimentation to transformation, and it gave a face to what was once just abstract technology. Nolan's story isn't just about technology, it's about reclaiming agency, rewriting possibility, and redefining what human interaction with machines looks like. Imagine what this means for someone who's been locked out of digital life. For the first time, Nolan was able to browse the web, connect with others, and interact with a digital world all with just his thoughts. By early 2025, two more patients joined the trial. Neuralink opened a global registry for quadriplegics, signaling this tech is scaling fast. But they didn't stop there. Neuralink plans to test a new device in 2025, Blindsight. This isn't science fiction. It's like wiring a digital camera directly into the brain's visual cortex. The first versions might look like pixelated 8-bit graphics. Think retro video games, but over time, they could get sharper. The FDA is fast-tracking it as a breakthrough device. This is life-changing tech, 
and it's happening right now. This isn't just about sight, it's about connection. It's about restoring a sense that shapes how we move through the world, communicate and experience life. And it's not just for the blind. One day it could help people with partial vision loss, macular degeneration, or even enhance normal vision with augmented overlays in real time. Let's zoom out. Where's all this heading? By 2030, Neuralink could scale beyond individual trials to mass integration. Think robotic arms and wheelchairs controlled by your thoughts. Telepathy would let you text or browse the web with your mind. Telekinesis? Move objects or drones remotely. No controller needed. There's also talk of integrating Neuralink with smart home tech. Imagine thinking, lights on, and they respond or controlling your music, thermostat, or even your car without lifting a finger. Imagine sending an email with only your thoughts or navigating an interface just by thinking. For people with disabilities, it's liberation. For everyone else, it's evolution. And Musk's bigger vision? Merging humans with AI. By 2040, Neuralink might boost your memory, accelerate your thinking, or let you see an infrared. Your brain could get software updates. Sounds crazy. That's exactly what people said about smartphones. And the goal isn't just enhancement, it's survival. In Musk's view, aligning with AI is humanity's best chance to avoid being left behind it. Imagine a future where your neural interface is integrated with artificial intelligence. You don't Google things, you know them. You don't type, you transmit. The lines between human and machine blur. Now picture this. It's 2050. You wake up, activate infrared mode, and recall memories like files. Your mind lives in the cloud. You jump into a virtual world indistinguishable from reality. Superhuman senses, enhanced cognition, total immersion. Are we still human? Some predict a neural app store where you could download new languages, skills, or even sensory experiences, like feeling what it's like to fly or remembering someone else's memory. It's a question we cannot ignore. With this power comes deep responsibility. Who owns the data in your brain? What happens if someone hacks your thoughts? Can consciousness even be copyrighted? How will governments regulate this? Will Neuralink become a public good or remain a high cost luxury? And what about mental manipulation? The risks are real and so are the debates. That's the ethical tightrope. Neuralink's potential is insane, but who gets access? What about privacy, security, inequality? These are all questions we'll tackle in future videos. So hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay ahead of the curve. Your subscription helps us grow and reach more curious minds just like yours. That's Neuralink's epic timeline, from a 2016 idea to a 2050 revolution. And this is just the beginning of Neuralink's mind-blowing future. Next up, we're breaking down how Neuralink's chip actually works. And trust me, it's wild. This video kicks off a much bigger journey into Neuralink's technology, ethics, breakthroughs, and impact on humanity. So if you're new here, you've just joined at the right moment. Subscribe now and come along for the ride. We're only getting started. Comment below if you could have one Neuralink superpower, telepathy, vision, memory boost, what would you choose? I'm Ulysses and I'll see you in the future.